This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. For boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet $100, and get a $100 free bet at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circle Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Sean, you're looking very fit in that new kit of yours over there. <laughs> Talking soccer. Soccer Kramer is here. We got Pick Dundee, aka the Dantabase. What's happening, Colby? ACC Big Ten Challenge, guys. Let's get excited. Let's get excited about life. You know, someone already did their job. Shout out to the Hokies. Shout out to Mike Young. Which, by the way, if you if you don't watch the post game pressers on the Virginia Tech Athletics YouTube page that has like ten subscribers, like I do, he Mike Young comes out and they ask him how he played. He's like, with all due respect to Ben John Ben Johnson, the coach yeah. of Minnesota, yeah. love what he's doing over there with Minnesota, but we played like garbage today. And me, me, mine, mind you, they just won by ten points. Didn't get the cover, <laughs> but uh, nice way to kick off the ACC Big Ten. That, challenge that's the way you done. were when I was on number one twenty-eight of my team preview, and there was one thirty-one. <laughs> I remember you, you telling me with a couple <laughs> days left, very similar stuff. You know, yeah, we got it all. And uh, all right, yeah, shout it. Uh, chat is alive and well over to YouTube.com/slash Sports Gambling Podcast. Let's get a USA tout for the money line. USA. USA. Uh, that was a pretty sweet hit. Even bet it with the draw line. I'm not afraid of no draw. Hit the hit Shout the out hike. to you, Sean. Yeah, uh, kiss my ass, Iran. Uh, hey, tom- whoa, tomorrow. <laughs> Kramer and I will be live from the Blue Wire Studio in Las Vegas for a double header. We're going to be doing our Thursday night props episode in the morning, and then 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 o'clock East. Live from the Blue Wire Studio, our NFL Picks podcast. Uh, Ryan Hasty wanting to know uh, college experience, college basketball show tonight as well. Colby, you better believe it, buddy. Nine p.m. Let's go. Yeah, I, I mean, you can just plan every, basically every night, right, Colby? Yes. The only, yeah, yeah, every night around nine, nine fifteen p.m. Um, I would say, yeah. You know, barring uh, sometimes Colby's got to got to take a shit. It's nine fifteen. <laughs> Sometimes you got the uh, you know double overtime game going on, something like that. Anyway, fire away. Thanks, Colby. Hey, you want to get down on some of these college basketball picks? You can do it over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. That's right, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Bet hundred dollars, get a hundred dollar free bet. So many states, and of course, fire up that parlay wheel, spin it. And don't forget to let it ride. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. All the subjects change. Terms and conditions at winbet.com is 21 or older and physical state will play to where bet is available. If you're somebody who knows a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. That was really awesome, Sean. Thank you. Uh, it was like a fine a wine, like a fine college basketball offense. I will say, Sean, Colby, you can hear this too. Uh, when you watch college basketball, I, I realized I turned 40 this year, but I'm fucking old. <laughs> I get it. College basketball just looks nicer. This NBA shit is shit. No, it's not right. even comparable. And then I Two watch, I, I'm rocking back sports. and forth on my porch. One. I'm watching this. I'm watching beautiful screens being yeah. set, passing. Uh, come on. The Come ball's they're, not they're two stopping. different sports. It's like watching right, that's anyway. like watching Apocalypse Now What's, and then Sister Act. You know what I mean? Like there's oh, a there's Sister a Sister Act one was Sister good, Act two. Me. Sean. Okay, there you go. Shout <laughs> out to Whoopi Goldberg. It's a shame the uh, no eyebrow look hasn't come back. <laughs> it will. Don't worry, everything's coming back. Hey, shout out 90s. to Ted Danson. I, I was hoping they were gonna make it. Hey, he <laughs> 
<laughs> he would he was not willing to go anywhere. All right. Um don't know where I was going with that. Three thirty. You want to start talking? You should do anything to talk about from last week, other than uh, watching college basketball is better than watching NBA at this point. I mean, there were some awesome matchups last week. Uh, the whole Phil Knight Invitational in Portland, Oregon. How about the Purdue Boilermakers running the table? Was I was. It was more of an opportunity. Purdue's to playing talent, really well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll be talking about them in a bit because cool. they they got a what I thought was a huge matchup. It's funny. You know, when I'm building the schedule, Sean, because I like to think that I build this whole schedule. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, in, in August, and I, I got the spreadsheet out, and I'm going through, and I'm like, oh, Purdue, Florida State, that game's going to be fantastic. Well, yeah. Florida State It's stinks. on the sheet because of, of the, the history, perhaps, but uh, yeah, it should be uh, interesting to see what happens oh, in Tallahassee. Poor Florida State. All right, you want to you pick some winners, Sean? Oh, yeah, let's go. Winners only. 3:30 tip on the West Coast. We're heading to Indianapolis. Hinkle where, Fieldhouse, where they Hinkle, shot, where, where they shot, and Hoosiers, where the real Hoosiers team played. Absolutely, yeah. Kansas State takes on Butler in this one. Butler is a pick. I mean, just, just Butler's missing a couple guys though, right? Yeah. Uh, is Ali Ali going to play? Uh, no, I think he's out. Oh, and uh, we and, love Ali, Ali. And same with Jalen Thomas, the transfer from Georgia State, who's, who's pretty damn good as well. So uh, I mean, they they even have a, 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 f- a few other guys that probably going to miss time too. DJ Hughes and uh, the game time decision on Miles Wilmoff. Uh, so they they're a little dinged up, man. So uh, how do you take Butler then? I don't think you can with the way with the way Kansas State's been playing this year. Yeah, K State's been playing well. Yeah, some uh, decent wins. They too. go and hire the longtime Scott Drew assistant Jerome Tang, and and boy have they, have they hit the ground running. Getting Keontae Johnson was huge. Remember Keontae Johnson a couple of years ago had that heart condition with the Florida Gators and had that scary moment in the game where yeah. he, he uh, like passed out on the court. He uh, got cleared to play, transferred out because Mike White went to Georgia, and and it's been nothing but but good things. In different uh, Mike White than the starting quarterback of the Jets, right? <laughs> uh, different Mike White, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm on K State, man. I think I think they're the better team, even though I know this is a tough place to go into and win. <laughs> well, I love Benedict Dan told in the YouTube chat saying K State would have won this one if their QBs didn't get hurt. <laughs> I think he's uh, nice reference. <laughs> Smoking about weed. Nice uh, reference. He is calling back, yes. of course, to Colby saying that K State T- should have won this game a number of times. TCU. I'm Kansas all over K State. This actually feels like potential lock. I mean, what am I missing here? Well, the, I guess it's a tough place to play. What you're yeah. missing is if I were like, if you ignore the injury stuff, and, and you ignore the way that Kansas, the form Kansas State is in, you would look at a situation where Kansas State could get loose with the ball. Kansas, State, look, they they hit their free throws, they hit their three point shots. This is the this is the play. All three. We agree. The discord can take Butler and suck it. 4 PM on the West coast. Richmond heads to Toledo, Ohio to take on uh, what, what is it? The golden flash. No, the golden rockets. The golden like rockets. No, they're just the rockets. Oh, okay. Um, Good Toledo minus three. Uh, look, I, rarely are you going to find me fading my spiders, mm. but I also do love me a Mac team. Ah, so you're 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 Rock, at, you're at a place. crossroads right there, right? I mean, Richmond 351st in the nation in pace, so they are going to slow it down just, and, and like kind of ugly it up. Like yeah, that. and the irony is what Toledo's 47th in pace, so you well, have a complete you, contrast in styles. So who wins? Well, in Toledo, horrible in defense, like like all MAC teams, <laughs> they don't play any defense. 334th in defense. That's why the MAC is such a fun conference. Though. It's like street ball. <laughs> it's it's literally street ball. That's why it's the best. I like what Chris Mooney and Richmond have done. They're 119th in defense, even with losing Jacob Gilliard, Grant wrong, Golden from a year ago. Wrong team favorite, right? Uh, you know, yeah. When you look, you see Richmond three and three, but. All their losses to to respectable opponents, uh, Charleston, Syracuse, and Wichita, by a total of eight points. Give me the Spiders to win on the road. Oh, yeah. Colby's so good at doing that. He's he's <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> like, he's got the t- yeah. he's got the tout mechanics. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah, I think we're all in Richmond, oh, right? No. The Spiders with a Y. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Discord's got two plays already. Vanderbilt, VCU. This one's at 4 p.m. on the West Coast. We're headed to Richmond. Uh, do you remember the days of Shaka and VCU? Yeah, shocking the world. Yeah, different than when Wichita State shocked the world. Uh, who do you like in this one, Colby? This one's a, a little tricky because Ace Baldwin is out for VCU. This is a guy that's been a key player on their team, perhaps their best player. Great name. He got injured a year ago for a big chunk of, of the season. Same same thing happened early in this season. 
So these you they play good defense, but they can't shoot for shit. Three hundred thirty third in field goal percentage. Yeah, that's and they're uh, missing ace, and that's kind of always been their forte. But even with Baldwin now, they 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 seem like they they really might be offensively challenged. Meanwhile, Jerry Stackhouse, uh, I think their team's a little bit better than their record indicates. They beat Temple, they beat Fresno. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot on the Commodores. Also, Vander, who Vander this Milt, place does get lit though. Vanderbilt. Yeah. All right, then I'm taking VCU. I didn't <laughs> get we didn't get the lit ready. Yeah. I was on the edge lit of rating. taking Vanderbilt, but Vanderbilt's so bad at free throws. I can't take them. I can't take a team like that. To Colby's point, their loss is St. Mary's, Memphis, and I guess the outlier, Southern Miss. No, Southern Miss is undefeated this year, man. So it's like Clarence Weatherspoon's back there all, all over again. <laughs> all right. I'm going VCU because of the home court. Kramer, what are you doing? Wait, our, Colby said it was going to be lit, but he took Vanderbilt. I know. I, I'm going with Vandy because I don't think VCU can score. Yeah, Vanderbilt. I was just, I, I. Also, Sean, we have to start tracking when Colby says it's going to be lit. If you take the other side, I think it's becoming a strong trend. <laughs> uh, b- Purdue uh, heads to Tallahassee. Will they take on the sem? Are they still the Seminoles? Seminoles of Florida State. Yeah, Four fifteen. G- give it a week. Four fifteen p.m. on the West Coast. I mean, F- Florida. St- Matt Painter, while he it does kind of dabble with my uh, do not bet. He kills uh, it in the black. regular season. He's a regular season warrior. I don't man. understand how you can be taking Florida State right now. I mean, they lost to Stetson, <laughs> Siena, Troy, Stanford, Florida Nebraska. State's fucking horrible. What's going on, man? You Why look at that so roster in the preseason. You're like, oh, they're <laughs> gonna be good. They got Caleb Mills, the kid from Houston. They got uh, a couple of nice young kids that, that they've added over the past couple of years, and I don't know what the hell is happening down there. But you can't take them, Colby. I'll, I'll go as far. To, I mean, how many games have they haven't been like sniffing? Sniffing a victory. I don't understand what's well, happening. What, Ryan, what is the money split on Purdue? Because I gotta imagine it's saying Lucky Nugget in the chat saying he's seeing ninety six percent of the money on Purdue. It, it's so minus thirteen. I, I don't have. I, I let me look. I have a secondary screen. I, I was gonna. What I was gonna say is we don't have. I don't have any data yet. Um, very I, early, which is why you might see a ninety seven percent. I mean, Florida State. The, I'm trying to make a case for why we should take the Seminoles, but I, I, they they lost by fourteen to UCF. They, I mean, they uh, they were up on Florida in the first half. Maybe that's your angle, but this is uh, Florida State football is kind of back. So no, one, I, I feel like these games have kind of been half empty. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Boilermakers laying the points. And that, it actually looks like they did they uh, this opened 14. They took some Florida State money, and uh, it's it's come it's come down. So for what it's worth. That they some some folks feel like betting on Florida State's a good good idea. Uh, good good luck to that. I I guess though, like I watched my my Hokies play a Minnesota team. Minnesota never had a chance of sniffing a victory. Yeah, you could you could back. They, they still thing. lost yeah. by ten, so that would be the angle. Yeah, um, FSU is an or Florida State's an. I mean, I should favorite. note that they played last year and Purdue won ninety three to sixty five. Yeah, so I. The issue is that even like so Florida State like oftentimes like all right they're playing poorly but they still have that big physical advantage not against the team well they have a talented roster I don't it's a, it's a little puzzling well it, you know it, tar- yeah, how Leonard can Florida Hedley, State not get athletes because I mean, Leonard, send Charlie Ward down there Le- yes, Leonard I mean, Hamilton has been a bad coach for many years uh, every year he has great athletes and they and they, they but you would think with basketball like rarely achieve their their potential if you have some great athletes you could you could be like 3 and 4 like come but, on but i mean like we thought they would be contending like for third or fourth place in the ACC preseason i mean look at this they're 340th in rebounding a florida state team that never happened yeah. under his time before that's true i mean and and like getting thumped by a team like siena for example not a good look all right it's almost like something was going on when the, where were they were for that tournament? What was the uh, locate? Where was for, Flo- for for Purdue? Where was uh no? Where was uh Florida State playing? Orlando, hmm. right or- down the road, man. Orlando, <laughs> four fifteen on the west. We're all on Purdue. Ah, Discord's already got three plays. Look at them, Rutgers, Miami. We're heading to Coral Gables, where the hurricane. I, I wonder. You think buses will be taken? Oh. Well, I, I mean, who are they rooting for? Because they might be from Jersey. Um, Rutgers That's comes true. to town. Uh, th- Just a scrappy ass Rutgers team, second in the nation in defense, fifth in the nation in steals. Yeah, they've been actually a bit of a surprise too. Because I thought losing Ron Harper Jr., uh, you know, they would take a step back. But I mean, I'll say the schedule hasn't been 
hasn't been very elite for the Scarlet UMass Knights. UMass Lowell. I mean, Sacred Heart. Come on, yeah. Ryder. Yeah. So, uh, how many of these teams are D one? <laughs> Ryder's the moving company, man. You can't fade the moving company. All right. So uh, I'm looking. All right. So I got Ken Palm's rankings up. Rutgers has played three teams outside of the top 300. So yeah. it's nice to pad those defensive <laughs> stats. Nice. The only team they've played in the top 100 temple. What happened? <laughs> they lost. I'm taking Rutgers plus three. You can't talk me. Out I, of I just gave you the handicap. I, I just gave the only good team they I mean, played. They lost. Miami was a really side. battle tested. Yeah. Even, even Miami's mid major. They played uh, UNC right, Greensboro is better than Better than uh, pretty Any much. Any chance uh, Greg Schiano is like a defensive specialist for the? <laughs> this is how Sean backs out of his accountability. He picks one side, then when he just, he realizes that we're on the right side, we bully, play that Benedict we, music, you we, bastard. We bully, right? we bully him, and that way when he loses, he can blame us for bullying him to the wrong it's side. It's win-win, like he did with me and the Buffalo Bills on Thursday oh, night. Oh, that was horrible. I should. You should have held strong then. And and in the in the USA uh, fucking Iran uh, podcast, I said one zero, and then Malcolm made all these good points on the over. I, and he talked me into USA two one. I don't want to seem like I'm replicating your bit, but I did have, and I was looking for the screenshots. I could have sworn I took, but I did. My build a bet originally was US to to US to win first half, draw second half, US to win one nothing. Ooh. But again, Mal- Malcolm talked us out of it. We'll blame we'll blame the man from over the pond. What what, what, what did he say though? He was talking. Ah, he he was just, talking trash he, about the US again. No, he you just know? He, well he came on an American <laughs> sports gambling podcast and he. Uh, picked Iran. So, you Oof. know, exactly. Cool. We'll have to have uh, next time we have him on, yeah. it's going to be to have more of a human human resources conversation. <laughs> All right, 415, another 415. Very sh- what's up uh, 15 minutes past the hour, huh? Something about this Big 10 ACC stuff, uh, you know? I see. I see. Uh, Ohio State uh, heading to Durham to take on Duke. Duke laying 5 here. This place oh. is gonna be lit, guys. All right. Did you need to ask me? Ah, shit. It's Cameron Indoor Shire's undefeated at home. Do they do they keep Coach K in like <laughs> glass and just break it in case they're down? He's eight like, at did you time? see the Sean Taylor uh, statue <laughs> yes. revealed? That's Hilarious. what they keep. Co- did you see? Uh, <laughs> you have to look at the Sean it's Taylor. It's just thing. a mannequin. It's like you could do that in ten minutes. They had a reveal where they they drop the curtain or you know, and it's like <laughs> wire hangers. <laughs> Why not get the hologram like Tupac or something? <laughs> uh, they also had his like. Uh, Decker, Decker, uh, uh, shout out to Justin Decker sent me a photo. Like that you could, his dick is like pretty, uh, obvious yeah, in the, uh, yeah. in the pants. Oh, respect. I mean, yeah. At least they nailed that Long part, right? Uh, respect. <laughs> what a way to honor it. Um, no. So, so Duke lost to Ohio state last year. This is a revenge spot for the yeah. blue devils, even though most of their team from last year, minus a couple guys, yeah. uh, Five are, are gone. Yeah, five points. Cameron Indoor, five points. Shire undefeated at home. Duke was. Hey, get this, Duke when they played Purdue the other night, when they lost by what nineteen points, uh, they were held scoreless the final seven minutes of that game. I think I think the Blue Devils bounce back. I'm gonna lay the points. Really? Yeah. This is a tough matchup for their defense. You're basically saying their size is gonna be a problem for Ohio State. I'm basically saying that Cameron Indoor Stadium gets fucking lit. The Ohio State team is, is they're an experienced bunch. No, they're nervous. Tenth in the nation at free throw. That's all I need to see for a team catching five. That's going to be up for this game. Ohio State plus five. Colby, are you sure? Sure what? Are you sure you want to take Duke here? Yes, yes I do. Bounce back spot. Uh, the Blue Devils are the better defensive team. Forty six in the nation. Ohio State sitting there, yeah, they've been playing solid D seventy second, but that their schedule hasn't been as daunting as the Blue Devils. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take Duke. The Shire's gonna stay undefeated at home, man. All right, let's go. So I'm with Sean, betting on the nuts, the Buckeyes. All right, hey, before we get to more picks, shout out to Rocket Money. Everyone likes saving money, right? So you can spend it on more awesome bets. Best way to save money is to cancel all those services you don't need. Imagine this. You 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 go to rocketmoney.com slash SGPN. Next thing you know, they got all your subscriptions in one place and you can cancel the ones you don't use with one button. When I heard this idea, I was like, this is amazing. I've already knocked off like 20 
was it like thirty five dollars per month? Again, add that up over a year, you're saving hundreds of bucks. Very easy to cancel all these subscriptions you don't use. You might find like double ones. I mean, think of all the stuff you sign up. You do the free trial. You're hit with the auto pay. You don't even think about it. Get rid of all your useless subscriptions with Rocket Money. Go to RocketMoney.com/sgpn and take off for savings. I still do the 12 CDs for one cent. <laughs> yeah, you know Colby. I mean? Colby just got out of Columbia <laughs> House. They're tracking him down. RocketMoney.com/sgpn. Greatest deal out there. Right? I, I, like I got to, a great timeshare. I like to think of it as <laughs> I just uh, I just saved myself three hands of blackjack a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do anything good with the money, but I'm going to save it. Oh. Use it for my own DJ and activities. Like we discussed with Malcolm, if you find money on the street. I just got a sweet Keith Sweat CD in the mail. Ooh. It's fucking great. Yeah, what a what a great scheme that is. I uh, should just start that up myself and just start That was the original auto that. renew button. They yep. like they just signed you up and they're like, "All right, fuck it. We're just going to keep sending you CDs." <laughs> gotcha, bitch. 5 p.m. kick on the West Coast. We're heading to Lubbock, Texas. This uh, lit me lit rating through the roof. Hopeful. I wonder if Craig James will be at the game. Georgetown taking on Texas Tech. Texas Tech laying seventeen and a half. Can you imagine if the Mike Leach lock uh, player in the shed incident happened today? Oh, he would have been fired immediately. Got well, he was, but I mean, but faster. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it would have been like a situation. He would never been rehired. Oh, like George, how can you back Georgetown? There's no. It, did I, I say mean, the spread seventeen and Texas Tech laying seventeen and a half here? I uh, was thinking about this the other day. Remember love those this Texas Tech program? Remember those sweet Ewing shoes? You see, you see my screen right now. Oh wow! Those Ewing shoes that 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 were just like orange and blue. Why doesn't he have his team wear all those? Those are awesome. Because he sucks. I mean, I I, I, <laughs> I hate to say this. I, there are I, two good New York Knicks of ever, and Ryan hates Patrick yeah. Ewing. Well, he, he he traveled a lot. He missed, you, he missed a the lot. finger roll. If you yeah, watch, if, roll if you were brutal. a fan of the Knicks, uh, which and I, Patrick I was, Ewing yeah. was your favorite player, you weren't a fan of the Knicks. Mm. At that, mm, I, I do agree. I was a. There was never a period. I was a Larry Johnson, John Starks guy. Whether it was Mason, a scrappy like blue collar guy, Oak Tree, Oak Oakley, Tree Bay, yeah. Starks, Harper, Charlie Ward. Like there, I can go down oh. a fucking list. It wasn't Patrick Ewing. I'll tell you that. But I think you almost have to take Georgetown at this number, right? Like this is insane. Seventeen and a half. Again, the number. It seems as though the number opened. Uh, at 18 got well, immediately well, bet down a little bit. One of the things to monitor here is uh Brandon Murray, the LSU transfers a game time decision. He's the second leading scorer on the team. That might be one of the reasons why that line might be a little bit steep. Um, but you know what? I'll take the Hoyas. Cause I no, think what? I, I think Texas tech struggles to score a little bit without uh far dolls. They're big man. Neither team's good at, at shooting the three either. So this game could get ugly. And if you're getting 17 and a half, that's crazy. This is at United Super Mar Supermarkets Arena too. I, yeah, I just think like, what what is it you said about VCU earlier? Yeah, it's a rock fight. They can't score. Mm. They struggle to score. That isn't that concerning when you're playing a Texas Tech team that they can be lay, lay the points. Ooh, lay ooh. the points. You're you're wrong. All this here. Ewing, all this, it's because it's Ewing, right? Do you? I mean, look, I they have tons of money. How are they not? Yeah, he just can't. Call. Like, we were fooled because he sat on Stan Van Gundy's bench. We're like, look at him; he's getting experience. He's a well, he's, not, he's not a star. He's doing. He's doing. He's blue collar. He's an assistant coach. <laughs> Richard Gertzberger <laughs> pointing out Patrick Ewing looks like he he already played a full fuck? half. What's going on? I, I don't know. I have, doorbell. I have no idea. Right, no personal calls on the show. I, I don't know why how these things get through. Uh, my, yeah, honey, yeah. can you pick up the that's groceries? Your, that's your dad. He's like, you're talking shit about Ewing. That was uh, actually Patrick Ewing calling. Yeah, he was calling in. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, Richard Gersberger says Patrick Ewing looks like he already played a full half even before the players are being introduced. True. Very true. All time sweater, just great. I, I he's got like an aqua duck in one his of, fucking knees. I remember. You know I mean? I'll never forget my first Knicks game. One of the things I was most excited to see in person was what it looked like to see Patrick Ewing sweat and like, did he just come out on the court sweating? Did he like, did he hand it? Did he hand you one of his knee pads after the game? Oh, that would, I mean, <laughs> it, if there's the idea of getting someone's used like sweat band, I, I, as a kid, like I was never looking for that. I, yeah. I don't understand the psychology of someone who wants someone else's 
DNA just to hang out. You're like asking for Jordan's wristband and Ewing sees you and he just gives you his knee pad. Providence uh, heads to (laughs) Fort Worth, Texas, where they're taking on the Horn Frogs of TCU. Great game here. Minus seven and a half for the Horn Frogs. Another 5 p.m. tip here on the West Coast. I mean, you're giving Ed Cooley seven and a half points? This is our guy. Remember last season when everyone hated on him the whole year? Overrated. They're lucky. They just win close games. And TCU's been a bit of a bit of a letdown so far this year. Uh, you know, obviously they got upset by Northwestern State. They almost got upset by a couple other schools. However, Providence doesn't look like the same team. Obviously, they lost a ton from a season ago. They're they're working it out. Bryce Hopkins was a great get in the portal, but uh, a Emmanuel Miller is a game time decision for TCU. But I'm very excited to watch that Miles Bynum matchup. Uh, TCU gets Damian Ball back from suspension. That what is the do? difference maker. Uh, I forget what he got suspended for, but it was probably uh, what was his name? Damian Ball, like Sammy Ball, like B A U G H. I'm still on Providence. I I just think you have that coach Ed Cooley with points, and they're five and two this season. Like they're, I, I get somewhat disappointing. Not as you know, maybe they'll come together late, but I, I still think that's too many points this early in the season. What did Damian Bell do? S- sell like a jersey of his to a fucking sixteen-year-old for twenty-five dollars, <laughs> and the NCAA suspended him. He signed. Um, oh, that's sp- right. Suspension stems yeah. last spring when Baugh signed with a non-certified agent during the NBA pre-draft process. Uh, I guess if you're, wait, they have to be certified so you can like not you can back out. I don't know. Oh, there's a there's an approved list of agents you can oh, sign. Oh, see, they're trying to control. They're trying to control everything, man. He signed with his. He let his dad be his agent or something, and he's in fucking trouble. You know, you seen that before? Yeah, it's it. This seems stupid. It sounds like they had an engagement for a matter of days. It. I don't know. NCAA sucks. I'm laying the what points with say? the Horn Frogs. Yeah, I'm w- I'm with you. Um, wow, you guys are gonna regret this one. Ed Cooley's our guy, but look, Big Twelve sh- shows up. Big Twelve is is the best conference in college basketball. They get it done here. Hell yeah! Although uh, you know, Ed Cooley's a guy we like tournament time, Sean. So we'll be back with Ed Cooley shortly. Six p.m. on the West Coast. Oh, this is one of Colby's favorite programs. I can only imagine he'll be taking New Mexico State laying five against the Miners of UTEP. Tragic magic situation uh, going on too. What's the, what? Like, Read us in. Uh, New Mexico State uh, had a member of their team that was shot. Oh man! Well, someone else died at this party, but uh, he was just shot. I think he's actually out of the hospital and everything now. But oh. they had their new Me- the, it, and it was over a scuffle with New Mexico at yeah. the football game. Really? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about this when I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They were talking about it. Yeah. There we go. I mean, so they Sean canceled that. They canceled that basketball game. They were supposed to play twice. They canceled both of them for the season. Uh, this is the second time these two schools have played. And if, if you guys have ever been to uh, Las Cruces or El Paso, they're not far apart. They're like a 45 minute drive apart. It's called the battle of the I 10. Uh, and they, they opened up the, I think the second game of the season they played UTEP one by three UTEP's coach is Joe Golding, who was uh, the coach at Abilene Christian that basically upset Shaka smart and got him fired in the NCAA tournament. Remember that? Love that. Uh, and look, UTEP's five and one. Um, their only loss was opening night to Chris Beard. Meanwhile, uh, but I, I think New Mexico is going to be motivated again. The tragic magic, the the revenge factor, the fact that they're twenty eighth in the nation in free throws. Did UTEP, the, UTEP can't hit a three to save their life. Did the guy who was shot was he a, like a contributor? I don't know the whole story. I know mm. that they got in a fight. They actually have footage of them getting in like a, the altercation. I feel like at the football stadium or something, or at least uh, maybe arguing or something, but, uh, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy situation there going on. I actually think New Mexico state bounces back. The fact that UTEP one by three and an incredibly close one that was in El Paso. This one's in Las Cruces. I think uh, Xavier Pinson makes a couple big shots down the, uh, d- down the stretch of this game. Let's go. Well, uh, not, not, uh, not heavily in the rotation. Um, yeah, I mean, you got you. It's you got to have a good reason to fade the tragic magic. And you know, if you look at the previous box score, you would see UTEP kind of controlled the entire game. Um, no chance in the second half at any point for New Mexico to have it. So, a little bit of a leap of faith. But yeah, tragic magic strong. All right, uh, LMU 
They're oh. heading heading to Fort Collins. A little elevation. Take on Colorado State. Colorado State. Our mine, boy. Yeah, you know, I, I had the opportunity to to uh, <laughs> to go to this fine the fine gymnasium. What was it like in person to see? Colby that texted beast. me that he he dapped him up in person. I did. Got to talk to him a little bit after the game for about really? five seconds. Uh, he had to do an interview, but uh, or, or he he, 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 he basically was like, "Dude, I got to do the interview. Get the fuck out of here." No, <laughs> no, he just said thanks, man. Uh, um, picked on who? <laughs> yeah, he's like picked, and he's from Australia too. You think you know? Uh, but no, Kelly, <laughs> You're like, hey man, I'm from the land. <laughs> Ke- Kelly, uh, Le- Le- Lea Pepe. This guy's a fucking beast. The oh. game I went to, he had 29 and 12. <laughs> 29 and 12, man. The guy was unstoppable. Uh, how can you fade that can, mullet? Can we give them an auto bid to the tournament? They now? need to get to the tournament. Unfortunately, <laughs> Gonzaga's in their in their conference, so oh, they need to like somehow pull the upset. They can because beat Gonzaga. Fuck. What better? <laughs> what better, you think? You think Gonzaga can slow down uh, Kelly? I Le don't Pepe? know. Le, Le Pepe, that Le, guy's a beast. What, does he have a nickname? He Le needs Pepe a good nickname. I mean, oh, by the way, I gotta get. I got you guys a. Uh, I have a. Oh. I have something to. Uh, oh. If you guys want to donate to the LMU basketball program, they're only asking twenty grand. Oh, what what, right? what do we get? What do you got? Name on the get, court? Yeah, you get. Some, I, I'll bring it in tomorrow. Can we get some branding uh, on the court? I'm serious. I really got some some paperwork for you. <laughs> Colby uh, loves paperwork. Yeah. Uh, look, Loyola Marymount is is how about them? Man? They won that that tournament in Jamaica where Patrick Ewing was there. You know, with his Hoyas. Yeah. We know we're all in LMU. Like, there's nothing else to say. I mean, this is a tough out in Fort Collins. It is tough because the altitude. Yeah. But if there's one guy that can do it, it's Leo, oh. Leo Pepe, right? You think he's, he's used a- to the thin air. He's so <laughs> tall. Do you think he's affected by elevation? No, his, no. His way. veins are so thick. He's got plenty of oxygen in there. It yeah. was hilarious because sitting behind me, where you know they were playing Towson, right? And not Towson. I'm sorry. They were playing Morgan State. And I'm a, I'm just making the assumption. That the fan, the people behind me were were people that made the trip with Morgan State, and it was pretty hilarious them getting their analysis of this guy. They're like, they're like <laughs> that motherfucker's got prison strength. <laughs> they're like, god, god damn, every rebound, like see him like grabbing this rebound. They're like, motherfucker, Conan the Barbarian, right? <laughs> I mean, he is, he is, uh, look, the, re, every, it feels like, uh, who was the kid from Loyola, Chicago that we, we, uh, that we, uh, Crutwig? Cam, yeah. Cam Crutwig. You, you get, you get, you have one, to adopt certain players. You get a couple of these every college basketball season of just, they look like dudes who should be playing in the YMCA who have a two inch vertical, but yet they're these just like magnificent college basketball players. I hope, I hope we get to see Loyola play uh, in the big tourney in March. We need uh, them to get in, man. How how can they how can they pull this off? The St. Mary's is in their conference too. It's like they're they're good. Loyola's good, but I don't think they're that good. Like it's gonna be one of those two schools, right? Uh sometimes you gotta let the stars in, uh, because that's all people care about nowadays. Six fifteen on the West Coast. Bloomington, Indiana hosts a little battle here. A little this, blue, oh, game little blue night, blood, blood battle between UNC and Indiana. Look, let, nothing let, better than seeing those goofy ass Indiana warm ups. <laughs> Like, all right, we get it. Yeah, I mean, you look like, it, look like it's, you're at a fucking carnival, I, or something like. No, you just look at you're like a giant popcorn vendor. Uh, Indiana minus seven. Uh, like you're gonna be uh, with those big tricycles, you know? I mean, honestly, like- with these colors and like the the animal, the Tar Heel, and the the goofy ass red stripes, this just feels like a political debate more than a basketball game. Like just people wearing goofy shit, like all the North Carolina people with their polos buttoned up to the top. Uh, uh, Indiana's back, but uh, North Carolina's got some ballers. Yeah, I mean, isn't seven? I know Baycott is game time decision with an ankle injury. You got Caleb Love. I mean, you know, UNC. Uh, I mean, as as short as last week, they were number one, and they lost to Iowa State and Alabama. Uh, maybe a little bit of a funk here, but how I mean, many teams can play a hundred, like a hundred point game, like they just did against Alabama? That game was ridiculous. I, I just, but yeah. how many teams can, can even give, do that? You yeah. can't give yeah. a team that can score like UNC seven points. I'm I'm taking mm-hmm. UNC. I agree. I think bounce back spot. I mean, look, Trace Jackson Davis and, and Xavier Johnson been playing really good for Indiana, but. They they really only had one real test in the game at Xavier, so uh, I got I got the Tar Heels bouncing back and at least covering this. I think they can win it outright though. The o- yeah, so Xavier the only team that in Ken Palm's uh, top uh, top two hundred and fifty teams that they played. Yeah, Te- they've played one team in the top two fifty. 
So, I mean, it, everything we said earlier about who were we talking about that had a trash schedule in New Mexico or uh, uh, Utah, Rutgers, 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 yeah, very similar. They just zero tests. So yeah, love, love North Carolina. Uh, here. I, I'm interested to see if they, if what they do defensively, do they try to put leaky black on, on trace Jackson Davis? I don't know if, especially if Baycott's injured, it's going to be very interesting to watch I had a little bit of that uh, early the other day, <laughs> 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 uh, you know, some of the. It actually was that tailgate at the UCLA USC game, uh, and, and shout, I ran into a random listener. I think his name was John, UCLA fan. Uh, this guy made some cream corn. It was delicious, but uh, left, left me with a little leaky black. Wait, you're telling me there's a UCLA football fan out there? <laughs> there I, I, I don't believe this. Sure there was. You, right. can't, you can't fuck around with cream of corn at a tailgate. Yeah, so yeah. it was great. Jesus That's Christ, a risky man. play right there. Yeah, the what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, and no, no further handicap. North UNC, let's go. Jordan for the win. Michigan State, they head to South Bend, Indiana, six fifteen. Again, the fifteen minutes past the hour thing. You know, like, how elitist are you? <laughs> South Bend, Indiana, Notre Dame catching a point at home here. Boy, the the if there's a battle tested team in the in the college basketball landscape at the top level of the game, it's Michigan State. Yeah, yeah, and. I don't know. I I uh, I forever find it hard to ever back Notre Dame. They're well, a bunch I mean, of this like year they've YMCA looked, pussies. They've, they've looked a little suspect this year. They were five and zero before their their last game against St. Bonaventure, and bon, the Bonnies pulled the upset. But Michigan State it does have Malik Hall out. But I think I'm with you, man. I, you know, both these teams played at an unbelievably slow pace. This is uh, this is basically your Iowa Wisconsin uh, Big Ten West football matchup on the hardwood. Uh, I, I'm with you though. Michigan State's battle tested. I think they're even though they're coming back from Oregon just what a couple days ago. I think I think they're going to get it done against uh, Notre Dame here. I'm not sold on the Irish so far this season, well, despite the, them being third in the nation in field goal percentage. And another narrative: they the best team they've played all year was the last game they played against St. Bonaventure, which they lost. Yeah. Uh, you could could be about uh, haven't played a road game either. So th- not only is this the toughest team they've played, uh, again they haven't played anyone within the top one sixty of Ken Palm. Who Notre outs- Dame? Uh, uh, Notre Dame. Yeah. Or they. Well, you said beat. they haven't. You haven't played a, a road game. They also haven't played a road game. They played a neutral site game. Oh, Michigan so. or Notre Dame? Yeah. Oh, okay. well, I was just confused because they were uh, at home. I thought you were pointing out like they haven't they haven't gone on the road and they're going on the road. No, I think he's just talking about the record. Yeah, they're yeah. five and one, and but they, they haven't yeah, played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michigan State. I yeah. mean, this is pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. What we got? I mean, how about that though? Izzo against Bray. I don't know. Is Bray that good? I I, I know he's had he's had a long success there, but I, I always feel like he's he's been uh, disappointing. All right, last last game, seven p.m. St. Mary's hosts New Mexico. Wow. Well. Who who could have thought, Sean, when we started this program, we were going to be talking about two schools from New Mexico, St. Mary's laying nine and a half. Go Lobos! Well, wasn't that why you were there? You were scouting. Yeah, keep right. an eye. I'm trying to crack the case. Uh, you, I mean, there's <laughs> dual tragic magic. It was like a crazy oh. shootout between the guys. Um, yeah, I mean, New Mexico. How can you how can you fade this team? Get nine and a half, and you have Richard Pitino. Yeah. I mean, I've been super impressed with that. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Can I we mean, start calling him Dick Patino? Dick, <laughs> D- Dick, Dick Pick Patino, or Ricky? Dick Pick Patino. Yeah. I, I just think this is going to be a game. I don't know why you give New Mexico nine and a half. That feels crazy. No, I mean, look. Have you they, have you watched this team? Like they're good. Yeah, four straight double digit wins. Uh, the, the, they obviously have the NBA lineage with with Jalen House and Jamal Mashburn Jr. But they can win outright too. I mean. I mean, but St. Mary's has been better than what I thought they would be. St. Mary's lost a lot. Randy Bennett just keeps a good program up there in, in the Bay Area. Bringing in those Aussies. How'd they not get uh, Kelly LePepe? I know. What the <laughs> hell, man? We need How's him to he transfer. Not for St. You know, he needs to take. You know what? I need to. I need to go to another, another game and talk to him because he needs to use his COVID eligibility and transfer there next year. LMU is uh, somehow tapped into the uh, St. Mary's pipeline direct from <laughs> Australia, and they got the. The best. How do yet. you whiff on that? How Kramer, do you are, you on, on that? are you on New Mexico as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, again, you got to have a really good reason to fade tragic magic. A, yeah. du- a dual tragic magic spot. Uh, I, and that that might be our parlay, by the way. Oh, little, a New little, Mexico parlay. Yeah, a little. What do they call that? Green chili special. <laughs> oh, I, I like. They, green. Put, they literally put green chili in everything. Oh, I love yeah. green chili. Yeah. Santa, I mean, look, the, New Mexico is a beautiful state, man. 
Very beautiful state. Underrated. Bring your meth. Yeah. <laughs> better, better Mexico, new or old. <laughs> neck and neck. All right, time for the lock, dog, and bonus lock. Brought to you by WinBet, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. Bet $100, get a $100 free bet. I'll go old Mexico. Uh, old Mexico uh, has beach, yeah, but Cabo. it also has some questionable <laughs> ones. Remember our diehard listener that went down to Juarez and just disappeared? <laughs> oh, show, show. That, guy, that guy used to hook me up with hotel rooms. Hashtag and all across, hey, all me, across the me. globe. Yeah, we don't want to get let, let too much information out. <laughs> you don't want the FBI asking us stuff. <laughs> Uh, all right, lock Richmond wrong team favored. Mm. Second lock Miami Rutgers not tested at all. Dog, I really want to take uh, Ella Loyola, but uh, yeah, give me uh, North Carolina. That's that's gonna be a fun, a n- nice sized dog too. In that game, there. When a team can score like that, the variance, I don't know, what are we getting? 250 maybe? Maybe a little bit more on the money line? Yeah. My lock, give me uh, the Lobos plus nine and a half. Oh, wow. I mean, Patino is a good coach. Uh, and then my bonus lock, oh, I had it. Yeah, UNC plus seven. That's way too much. And then my dog, I mean, how do you not? Oh. Pepe Le Pew uh, <laughs> on the money line in Fort Collins. Let's go. That's a nice, that's a seven and a half money line. That's a pretty sweet. Uh, um, oh, um, we gotta get him on the show, Cole. I yeah. tried, figure man. that out. Damn stadium sports announcers got in my way. I was All trying right. to talk to him. We gotta get Colby a tux. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, you gonna lock up I'm, Georgetown? Nah, I'm taking Carolina plus seven. Wow, he's copying you again, Sean. That's gotta feel great. <laughs> Twice in one day, Colby copies your iron lock. sharpens iron, Ryan. Ca- yes, Carolina yes. plus seven, and then uh, let's uh, bonus lock will be Miami minus three. And what's your dog? My dog. Let's. I'm just. I'm, look, I'm not gonna go with this small dog nonsense. All right, we're gonna we're gonna find something solid here. Let's go with. Uh, what does that mean? You talking shit about my seven point dog? <laughs> you talking shit Give me about the Lobos, Sean? baby? Let's go. Let's wait. Green chili special. New Mexico <laughs> on the money line. Sorry, Sean. I got a little distracted typing into my Google bar. Diners near. <laughs> University this credit union. Like Pavilion. father, like son. You have to know when to come. Looks, uh, looks like the spot is going to be uh, 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 two mi- twos food oh. and drink. Mi- Katie's Mr. Creek? That's Walnut Creek, California. Katie, shout out to Katie's Creek. Uh, Mr. Patino, can I get a drink started for you? Terrific snatch. No, just if. Uh, <laughs> I like that shit stirred, uh, just, bitch. Uh, would, you like, would you like any sort of dessert? Terrific snatch. No, I, I'm just here to bring out your food. Terrific snatch. Uh, if you could just please, please, <laughs> sir, relax. Terrific snatch dong. Imagine naming his kid Dick. <laughs> he loved his dick so much. Guys can... who will get penetrated. Oh, if I name my son Richard, I can pretend like he's. The... <laughs> anyway. Hey, that'll do it for the show. Uh, YouTube.com slash uh, sports gambling podcast. Hit subscribe. We will be live uh, 10 a.m. ish on the West Coast and four o'clock ish uh, for a double header from Ooh. the live from the beautiful Las Vegas uh, win bet. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be able to do a double header. I saw Ben Simmons has got a, a sore knee and he's out. Sean. <laughs> oh man. That guy is he, it's, it's comical. Had his laptop on his, le- his knee a little too long. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably fried his balls there. All right. Hey guys. Thank you as always. And hey, check out the merch store. Got a ton of good holiday stuff in there. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green, and he is Ryan. Mike Vrabel would be proud of Christian Pulisic putting his dick on the line for his country. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs> <laughs>